We're going to do a leak down test on these JS Motorsport lightweight pistons. We've got total seal rings and got 20,000 miles on these pistons and rings. They've been in there for six years. This leak down tester is from Aircraft Spruce. It's made by Eastern Technologies Corporation. It has a 40 thousandths orifice. And I'm running about 50 pounds pressure because if I run more than that, it wants to take the wrench and spin it right out of my hands or loosen the nut. So we're going to open up a valve now, see what kind of leakage we have. I'm at top dead center. Okay, both gauges are reading exactly the same. This is the supply and this would be the leakage of the cylinder. That means there's no leakage at all. There's got to be some leakage, of course, but it's not measured on the gauges. Now if you come back here, look at the breather hose, nothing's coming out of there. You can't feel or hear anything. If you put a glass of water in there, you'll see some bubbles, so there is something coming out. But it's negligible. Okay, now I'm going to rotate the crankshaft forward so I'm into the power stroke. This is where you usually see the worst leakage because most of your bore wear is on the front side of the cylinders from the power stroke. All right, I'm going down into the power stroke. You can see the gauges are still even. I'm rotating it further, further. The gauges move just a little bit because I'm changing volume in there. But then they come back up and you hold it steady. See, they're both at dead even 50. If I go far enough, there we go. I've got the exhaust valve leaking. Okay, I'm going to bring it. Whoops, slipped off there. Going to bring it back up to top dead center. Now I'm going to go past top dead center into the compression stroke. Okay, I'm on the compression stroke side now. I'm not going to go very far because I'm about to lose it. You can still see the gauges are even straight up. I'm going to shut off the valve now so I don't loosen the nut. Oh, let's give it a try. It's not that bad, but it's a little risky. Back up to top dead center. This is really good news. That's a very tight seal, as good as you could get. It shows that the lightweight pistons seal very well. There's no problem with bore wear or piston rocking or anything else on a normal street bike. Now on a race bike, high performance, you can wear out things quicker. And in those conditions, I would suggest treating the cylinders with silicone carbide. For street bikes, you should be fine. Like I said, it's got 20,000 miles on this bike. Same ring, same pistons it's for six years. Very happy with this setup. Uh, hope to get another six years more out of it.